become something in the world of digital technology, you actually stand a good chance. Um, so I, I started out the journey by, you know, just reading through the requirements, you know, and honestly, it takes a, a good amount of time just trying to understand what they mean by certain things and, you know, what kind of documentation do you have to share, you know, because nobody's going to talk to you to interview you, right? They're not going to ask you questions. It's basically, you go to a website, you read all the instructions that are on there, you put together a collection of documents, and then you submit those documents. And of course, they are charging you for the privilege of reviewing your documents, and it's quite a hefty sum. So you send documents across, and then you pray that the person that reviews your documents sort of like uh, agrees that you are a global talent, right? So it's 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 quite a very interesting process because if you don't have anybody to put you through or to explain things to you, you can actually miss it. Um, and that's why platforms like this are actually very important, you know, so that, you know, you can ask questions and you can gain some, some clarity as to, you know, what specific sorts of things, you know, are they looking out for? Yeah, so um, I read about the program and for me, my application process was quite extensive because I was busy with work and honestly did not have time to like really focus on it, right? So it was just something I would just do on weekends, um, on, on Saturdays or Sundays, you know, just spend like an hour trying to like understand what these guys really want. And, you know, what you would later find out is that it's very intensive, right? So you need like letters, you need people to vouch for you, to write letters for you. You also need to, in several cases, you know, give details of the specific things that you have done in the past, right? So have you been a part of the mentorship program? Badia mentioned the Bincom mentorship program, which is a structured mentorship program. That's actually one of the things that they look out for, right? If you've ever been part of a structured mentorship program, you need to be able to evidence that, right? Which then becomes the other aspect of the challenge, right? Um, it's not just you telling them, oh, I've done this, right? Because anybody can package that, right? You can package, oh, I've, I've created an app that had, that generated 1 billion error or that had 1 million downloads. You can put all those things in documents. However, they verify every single thing you mentioned to them, right? And as much as possible, whatever it is that you're presenting should be things that you cannot um, you cannot lie about because they can verify when they go online. So if, for example, you say you built an app and the app generated a million downloads, there should be a link to a Google Play Store um, link to the app where you can actually verify that million downloads. And um, that's one of the, the tricks I learned during that process. Um, it's not necessarily about what you tell them. It's really about what information can they find about you online. And I think that's, that's an area where a lot of people who would ordinarily qualify for these sort of programs are, are being uh, held back, right? Because um, for example, you Google your name, what kind of information do you see about you? Um, have you been in any like speaking engagements? Have you been in any, have you had any opportunities to share your knowledge and, and, and speak? Um, if you don't fall within that um, bucket of being visible online or having like a decent online presence, you would struggle. Um, for me, I was a, a bit on the lucky side because over the years, I, I just am a bit passionate about um, attending sessions like this where um, I just share my knowledge. I talk to people about product management, which is like my, my career path. Um, I mentor people. 